Alrighty, we are back with another solo leveling arise video and we are going to take a look at the next upcoming hunters plan for the month of September which should be related to the dark typing I believe on so a dark element rather uh, but before we do I have some brand new codes for you guys as per usual so let's go ahead and get those out of the way so the brand new codes are going to be uh, man imbued fabric at times 200 and then rune fragment so not exactly the best when it comes to free to play resource but I'll go ahead and give out 100 codes if you guys are interested in taking it um again just first come first serve as per usual and always appreciate the support if you are supporting me by the way i've already given these codes out last night so check your coupon page but there are the codes so anyways when it comes to the upcoming dark hunters right i'm pretty sure you guys already saw from the title and thumbnail as well um they are going to be i can't even really say waifus because they're not they're going to be lolly characters so, <laughs> so i i already know how the community is probably feeling and reacting to it the fact that we are getting more female characters and not just like male characters is kind of insane now again i personally have not read solo leveling so i don't know exactly how big the male roster is in the world of solo leveling but i can't imagine is this low low to the fact that like we get zero male hunters is kind of insane um, and still to this day, we have not gotten the announcement of a original male character, which I feel like the game desperately needs. And I feel like a lot of people have been asking for it too, right? So here it is. When it comes to the upcoming dark characters, it is going to be Harper and Charlotte, which I don't know how I feel about it. Again, I'm really not the biggest fan of it. Um, and, you know, Alpha Leaker did go ahead and kind of like give us a gift teaser a while back when it comes to Rem and Ram. Um, so... I don't know how I feel about this, honestly. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section because I feel like a lot of people are like extremely disappointed when it comes to these characters being released. Uh, and I, I believe that it, they are dropping in the month of September, right? So upcoming character release schedule of September. Yeah, Harper and Charlotte. Um, they are two units that are meant to work together, which I will get to this point in just a second here. And then Gina, right? Gina, my God, was teased for like the longest while, like like really far back. And it seems like she is going to be released in October. And then November, we have no idea yet. And then December is going to be Kane and Goto, which I don't know how I feel about that. I honestly thought that Kane was going to be released in September or even October as well. Uh, and I think she is going to be a dark type unit, but I have no idea. That could obviously change now. But when it comes to Harper and Charlotte, Alpha Leaker did say that they are two units that are meant to be working together. And they are like twins, by the way, in case obviously you, you can't tell for some reason. But... Yeah, they are going to be twin units um right now from the leaks image i believe harper is going to be a uh, attacking unit and then charlotte is going to be a mage unit so it's really weird and i i hate this i hate anytime gacha games do this because it's by far some of the most dumb things to have in a gacha game but with these two units working together that means that if you summon for one of them you're going to most likely have to summon for the other one, whether you like it or not, because there will be some aspects of the kits that you essentially are going to be missing out on. And so, like, while we don't have any kit details on what the units can do, by Alpha League, you're going ahead and say that, yeah, they are two units that are, are meant to work together. It means that, yeah, like, there's probably going to be some kind of mechanic. Because, uh, like, I read one comment, right? It said that, you see, Harper and Charlotte is a two-in-one unit together. At first, I thought that's what it meant. I thought that maybe it was going to be like in two and one. Maybe we have like a switch out mechanic or some kind of tag system. But no, that is not going to be the case. Um, and instead, it's going to be much more than that. So yeah, and or maybe because they look like kids, they combine to each other. Maybe uh, one of them is a mage. So maybe enchant the hammer. I have no idea. Honestly, I thought it was going to be like he means that they might have some skills using a cycle that would be stronger, like skill one of X Hunter and then switching to Y Hunter and using uh, using skill one and short as a combination attack. Yep, but it's more than that. So, yeah, we pretty much got a confirmation that you're going to need both units, which I honestly hate. I don't know why Netmarble decided to do this for some reason. It's so weird. I feel like, honestly, in my opinion, if, if I could, if it was up to me, I would completely scrap these characters <laughs> right off the bat and completely work on, uh, like, new characters or just go ahead and release, or rather work on the ones that we already know are coming. But again, it's weird. I don't know if they are appearing in the lobby yet. I think I did see some images already uh, of people seeing them in the lobby. But yeah, yeah. Let me know your thoughts because I, I am not exactly the biggest fan of these units dropping. And then Gina, I have no idea what the hell is going on with this unit. Honestly, we have zero information on what this unit is, is doing in terms of kit wise. We have like zero clue, by the way. Uh, so I have no idea what Gina is going to be doing in terms of her actual kit. But bear in mind, September is going to be the month of, I was, I'm assuming, dark, uh, dark content dark characters needed heavily so i guess the dark meta is coming back right that's good but i feel like 
Bro, give us male characters, man. That's what I'm trying to say, dude. It's so annoying. It's so frustrating. I don't know why. And see, even Alpha Leaguer and Arm Genesis are saying the exact same thing. I don't know why. So I feel like hopefully if enough people speak up and maybe Netmarble do kind of pay attention to the community, which they normally are, but I'm hoping because even themselves, they are aware of the fact that they, you know, they've been releasing like nonstop back to back female characters. They know that themselves too. So I don't know why they keep doing this. It's weird. They, they mention it and they're like, well, you know what? We're going to go ahead and release more female characters. I, dude, honestly, it's because they know how much money they are making off of female characters. That's why they keep releasing these characters. I'm, I'm not even kidding you. I kid you not. Hey, I mean, it's true. Waifus do bring in more money, but still, this is crazy, man. This is actually ridiculous. So I, I will end it there. Um, we're supposed to be the new dark characters. Kane is soon, but not that soon. And Gozo is already confirmed for December. So maybe Kane and Tawada is going to be confirmed in November. But from what I saw here, I believe this is like the most recent tweet. And then this tweet came out in, yeah, just a few days ago. So I'm assuming that she is dropping in December and not November, which kind of sucks. Honestly, I mean, if that's the case, and like what, October is going to be dark, November is going to be dark, and then December is going to be dark content as well. Three months in a row of dark hunters? That's kind of crazy. I mean, when I said that the, the dark element was kind of falling off, I didn't expect them to go ahead and release three full months of dark units. That would be crazy if that's the case. I'm not even going to lie. But yeah, it's just nothing but damn fan service with this game. Not exactly a great look. I'll 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 say that. But anyways, I'll end it there. Y'all let me know your thoughts. And uh yeah, two hunters that will most likely be a must summon. Like if you summon for one of them, you're gonna need to summon for the other one. And I'm pretty sure in saying that there's gonna have like one ban at a time. So either Charlotte or what the hell is your name? Harper. Charlotte Harper's gonna be dropping first, and then they will wait two weeks later until the other banner is gone, and then making you summon for it. Cause then it's like, well, if you summon for one, you don't summon for the other, then you have to wait like a whole month and a half until they get added to the general pool banner. That's gonna suck ass. I'm not even gonna lie. I oh my god, now I don't think about that. That's such a bad move on the on their end. But yeah, let me know what else, all right? I'll take care. Right there. Peace.